Hello guys, um, welcome to um, another awesome show. Um, this is a, a guide basically how to rig a sea float for you. Um, so these are the different floats. That's a pipe float, that's a very small pipe float. Um, slightly larger one there, slider, what's that, 20 grams, Zeppelin, whatever it is. The line goes through there. Okay, nice and visible, so you can see it. You can use that for sea fishing, even though it's a float. That's a carp um, controller, so it's weighted. So um, you'll only see the top of the, the luminous bit when it's in the water. And this is like a, um, a traditional sort of RAS, harbour wall sort of float. You see there's a little bit of plastic through there. And it's polystyrene, very buoyant, and that'll you know, hold a big bait. Okay, so that's um, ounce and a half lead, bullet lead. Okay, we'll use that to get the bait down to the bottom. So let's say we're fishing 20 foot deep. Um, your little beads, you're going to need them, just a bit of protection on the knots. Um, and also one on top of the float um, for the um, the stop knot. That's a standard swivel, any old swivel will do. Um, and a hook, obviously your, your, you know, your baited hook, and um, you know we'll tie that onto the swivel. So that's the, that's the business end. Okay, and you just adjust that to your, obviously to what species you're going after. You can use this technique for literally anything, big, small, little mullet, to you know things like pollock and um, mackerel and bass and all sorts. Um, so this bit of line I got in my hand there, that's basically for the stop knot. So I'll, I'll show you how to tie one of those on. Here's some amnesia, strongly recommend buying amnesia, really good stuff, been brilliant over the years. Um, this is the black stuff, just to help you sort of see what um, you know, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I think this stuff's actually 25 pound, but we treat that as your main line where my hand is now. That's that's the actual your main line to your reel. So the first one which goes on is a bead. Okay. Now we'll see the float. Top of the float goes first. Slide that through. Old float that one. Let's see some action. Right. So I'm just piling the gear on at the minute. The right, lead goes on now. And obviously, I mean, that's an ounce and a half, but, you know, probably an ounce would be better there, or half an ounce. It just depends if you want to cast further out, and if your bait's not too big or small or whatever, you just have to adjust the weight according to what your, your bait is. And another bead. Protects the, the knot on with the swivel. And obviously just um, a swivel, obviously, you know, new swivels are, are you know, are, are a must. So you rely on them. This is just a standard grin and knot. Through the, through the hole, through again, bring it round and go through one more time. You should lick it here, I don't. Just gently pull it down. Lick it or just zip right down, snip it off if you want. Decent pair of pliers, lightweight ones, I would suggest. It's got a little bit of nippers there. No, it doesn't matter if you leave a little bit there, always leave a little bit on the knot. Okay. Some different floats there in the background. Um, so here we're tying the hook link now onto the actual swivel. Right. Hook link goes on, exactly the same knot, double grinner, you could call it that. Right. So you suit your trace line to whatever fish you're going after and the hook size obviously. Good rig for harbour walls this, or wrasse fishing. Um, let me just pull that down. You can snip it off again or, or not, you know, it's probably best to snip it off a bit because it could, you know, could tangle a little bit, help to tangle a little bit, loose bits of line like that. Um, so we'll trim it off. And I'll see. I'm just showing you the hook there. Okay, so that's the rig. So you've got the hook, you've got the swivel. Uh, 
All right, you've got a bead, you've got a, a lead, a bullet lead. Let's protect the knots protected. Bounce and pump down in the swell. And then we've got the float, which will slide right up to whatever depth you've set it at. Okay? So that the bead's there for a reason, because it's quite wide, that bit of plastic in that float. I'm going to stick a bead there, so it's going to trap at the um, stop knot, which I'm about to tie on. And this stop knot, you'll literally just slide up and down to what you roughly estimate the depth to be. So you can fish right near the bottom, or you can fish mid-water, or you can fish right on the surface. For mullet and things like that. So this is the actual stop knot. This is basically a knot used to tie a, a line to the main line. So you could, you know, use this knot for hook lengths and things like that. So you just run it around, you go over the loop, you go around the whole lot. Two, three, four, should go around again. Five. And five's enough. And you go through just just through the loop. You just go through the loop like that, you're still gripping it. And you just pull it tight like that. Pull it tight, you just use your fingernails just to pull down on each side of it. Like so. So it's sort of it's not too tight, but it's tight and so it will move. And you've got some long ends there, you see. Now you just grab your pliers and you just snip them long, long ends off and you leave about, I don't know, leave about 10 centimetres, sorry not 10 centimetres, leave, leave a centimetre, sort of each side. Make sure you don't snip the main line off. There you go. Okay, that's your stop knot. And that's going to trap the bead. It's going to prevent the float from going right the way through it, you see. So that's actually, so that's, so that's trapping at the, at the bead. All right. So you float whatever you set that at, let's say you set it at 16 foot, something like that. That will be round your um, your fixed bull reel when you cast out. And as you cast out, that will go through the eyes. So you, you know you might want to trim that down a little bit, those ends on the stock knot. That will go through the eyes. That will just cast out normally and the lead will just take your bait out. Nice, a nice one like that. So you, you know, and there you go. So that'll just pick you. And it's a good technique because it just you'll drift with the tide, the wind, and the, and the current, and um, that'll get you fish. And it's um, it's a pretty straightforward sort of rig. So um, so yeah, I hope that helps, guys. And um, yeah, I hope that helps you. And I'll see you later.